are here today to talk about um, cheapest, as in the price wise, budget friendly, not quality, budget friendly, budget. Let's friendly. call it that. Cheapest doesn't sound yeah, good because like, this came up a couple times in conversations, just having with people. Yes. Hey, I like everything that you guys have been doing, but thank you. With my budget, what can I get? Um, so it's come up quite a few times, um, and I've mentioned these vehicles a couple times, but we're going to go over a couple of them. Yes. Um, I do have a larger list, but we're going to break it down to three of them right now. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, this is basically what this comes down to is um, people with families. They're not large families. They maybe have maybe two kids like <coughs> I do uh, or just one, but uh, they still need something that uh, they can put the family in, still put some stuff in the back, and they can still move around. Yes. And again, they're not, can't have that extreme uh, payment or something. So uh, so I've talked to a few people and everything, so we came, a couple of the, came across a couple of these. We're going to go over with them. Um, it's real. One of them is the, uh, the Hyundai, 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 uh, hey, uh, hurrah, be, ba, ya. Oh, I can think of it's a cartoon now. He, uh, way, uh, yeah. So the uh, the Hyundai Kona, K O N A, Kona. Did I say that right? Kona. I don't know. Uh, hey, All you know I heard that? was Hyundai right. Kona. Cajonas. The, <laughs> the Hyundai Cajones. Hey, it must have. Uh, <laughs> tough, tough, tough times. Tough so, times. So, this segment is great, absolute trash. It's going to go great. A great little SUV. Uh, MSRP coming for this guy is, uh, like I said, round 23. Um, that's brand new. That's a 2023. Uh, so, again, that is the one of the lower packages. You're not going to get all the fancy heated seats. Uh Power uh, opening, rear hatch, uh, stuff like that. Um, there may not even be power seats in this one. But again, some people are not looking for all the uh, bells and whistles. They just want something new and nice. So this is what we have. Um, so that little guy right there. Um, so like I said, around 23 uh, MSRP. You're getting 32 miles per gallon. Uh, nice. It is a five passenger. Uh, they consider it five passenger, so it's got the second row. Uh, some models, a little bit bigger, does have a third row. Um, again, your third row is not going to be the greatest. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a little tight, but yet there might be a little bit there. Um, if not, you'd still have a great back seat. Uh, the car looks, well, sorry, looks, SUV. Yeah, looks great. Looks great. Um, they did a really good job on this one. Um, looks really nice. Um, Love sleek. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's a really nice vehicle. The next one is the Kia. Cel I'm Celtos. I do know that one. That's a good vehicle. Okay, so the good Celtos. Uh, really nice one. Um, I looked over this one. Uh, it's really good. Now, that one uh, is a five. Another should five be almost five-seater. Mm -hmm. um, the newer ones look awesome. Mm -hmm. um, even the base models. They have a uh, sleek design. <clears throat> so, in the Kia family, they really don't miss on SUVs. No. Uh, from the Celtos to the... Um, I can't remember the low model one, um, but they really do a they do a great job all the way up from the Celtos, the Sorrento, and then into the wonderful Telluride. So the Telluride is just we need to get a Telluride. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but yeah, like the I remember the Celtos when I was looking for before I wanted a truck. I was like, oh, I want to get an SUV. Mm -hmm. um, great room in it, even in the base model. Do, mm -hmm. Actually, comes with a lot, like a decent amount of bells and whistles for the price um, yeah because your base price is about 23 24 yes so you actually get kia doesn't like skimp on like a giving you a little taste of like hey this is what you could get and then as you go up it just gets better better and better like any vehicle but um yeah the seltos is is a wonderful um low cost vehicle mm -hmm. when i started driving vehicles to now Boy, it's better. a big difference inside these uh interior in these vehicles, it's a lot different, a lot more yeah. comfort. The Kia, Sportage. The Sportage. The Kia Sportage is another nice um, vehicle, especially the 2023, no, 2022 to 2023 models. They redid them like a gen, like a next generation. 
looks phenomenal. Comes with crazy interior colors. There's I've seen a, a Kia Sportage with like red and black interior, like leather. Ooh. And it's not Ooh. a Telluride. So they really he... were just like, you know what? Let's make all of our vehicles look great on the inside so people don't feel skimmed. Because, you know, sometimes people do that. Like, it's all right. Like, this is, I can tell what this is, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, like, now you can really see people diving into that, like, creative aspect of interior. So you can get them. So you are in our area with the snow and everything. Yeah. That's important in our area. Northeast of Ohio. We all, need it. all the vehicles that I do mention, I do look at and I make sure that they are either four-wheel, all-wheel drive. <clears throat> Nate probably won't like this, but I'm going to say it. Um, I know, so the Martins are in, like, the market for looking for a new SUV. I know you have your mindset on the expedition because you're a Ford family. I love it. I support it. But <laughs> if there was a secondary, I would definitely look not at a Seltos because it's only five seater. You want like three seating? Three seating. Okay. So the Sorrento, very clean. You would love it. It has all the stuff you're talking about. And it's it's just another option. So the Sorrento, the the um the Sportage, I don't think it has three rows. We'll have to look into that, but it is super clean. So look at look at a Kia too. Space. This isn't a space. That's that's what Yes, they they this family needs space. So yes. <laughs> they got two kids. It's, it's four of them in the whole family. There's only yeah. three of us in my house. So it's it's more so of like look from Sorrento up. Well, really, you can look at Seltos up. So check out the Seltos, see what it has. Um, Sorrento is like my my yes for you. If you just try and be bougie, go ahead and get you a tell you right. <laughs> get you a tell you right. You can fit everybody. You can fit the whole neighborhood and tell you right. Again, third one, same thing. All wheel drive, four wheel drive. This is the Mazda CX thirty. Hmm. So this is another one that uh, a couple people have pointed out to me. Not really looked at Mazda uh, a lot, uh, but somebody said, "Hey, what do you think about this one?" Well, I had to do a little bit of research and look at it. That's actually a really nice one too. Again, a twenty twenty three is starting out about twenty four thousand um, base model. You get another again another thirty. 30 miles per gallon in these ones. Again, looks really sharp, too. Yeah, Mazda looks really good. Um, again, all-wheel drive. Uh, same thing. The horsepower is about the same. Um, you're just you're just under 200 horse. Same thing, two-liter motor and all that. Uh, alloy wheels, 17-inch alloy wheels again. Um, and like I said, it's still a really nice one. Uh, I think you have a little bit bigger display screen in this one uh, with your base model. I thought it was a 9 or 10-inch in this one, mm. but it could be an 8-inch. Um, but again, really nice, uh, comfortable, uh, quality seating in this one too, again. Yeah, man. So I you're really, complain. you're really not skipping out on any of these. Um, and again, these are all really nice and with a uh, budget friendly, um, if you got a family of four, uh, with the grocery bill nowadays, making a small loan just to go grocery shopping. Oh, these ones are not going to kill you.